Okay, if you're a user of Redmi Note 8 or Redmi Note 8 and looking to install Android 12 base custom room, then you can try out this build if you want to. It's just up to you. This one is based on Android 12 and unlike other custom room, it's good. I think so. It's quite good. The performance was good. You need to use it for maybe approximately one hour or two hour. Then the performance will be improved. But at the first start or first boot, it will be quite laggy for you. So yes, you can, if you want to give it a try, make sure to keep this thing in your mind. Let me show you some things for example the launcher etc you have the pixel launcher pre-installed the pixel launcher which is pre-installed it's not the modded one the modded pixel launcher has some extra grid sizes and also has the extra themed apps for you and if you want to install that modded launcher on your device a video for that already available on my channel so if you want to check it out you can other things which you get in this latest update of android 12 based as i previously mentioned here it's pixel launcher which you get pre-installed which is actually quite good the features or customizations this is not a feature based custom room this is not a customization based custom room but it's good you have some useful features some useful features which you need in your device as your daily driver things those features are present here so don't worry about that let me show you one thing that which is the custom room right now i'm talking about this is aospk maybe and the kernel which you get pre-installed is surge x surge x ragnar ragnarok kernel is what you get pre-installed with the latest november security patch is what included and yes of course it's android version 12. it's android 12 it's not a ported one and if you're able to see the navigation bar that's from oxygen os if i'm not wrong the big oxygen os bar at navigation that looks quite cool by the way and you don't get this navigation bar pill in any other aosp based custom room so far or maybe you can simply see it like miui 2 the quick settings panel i think so looks quite good neat and clean it's actually of course the monad theming is there which is supported and if you want to use that you can one more thing what i've noticed that if you want to enable these tiles you can simply click you don't need to drag and drop these tiles you can simply click once and the tile will be added or removed from there if you want to other tiles are kind of same if you want to customize the clock widget which is very very interesting one you can simply click here and like this you'll see some extra options of course to get these functionality you need to update your default clock app which is google clock if you need it if you want to update that you can and then you'll be able to customize the clock widget battery etc seems to be decent enough as i have used this room for maybe some hours it was quite good approximately 10 or 11 percent of screen on time at one hour because my device is too old so as these things also matter a lot customizations or features kind of same in display settings we have the option to check out the refresh rate of course my device has 60 hertz refresh rate some customizations like status bar items where you can enable or disable some icons from your status bar if you want them or if you don't want them one of the best things in android 12 is the monet theming sometimes in just some cases not every time some cases with some wallpaper things these looks quite good they we have the themed icons option available which is just working very good as i previously mentioned if you want to install the modded version of pixel launcher you can and including that the xiaomi parts is also included which has the usb fast charge option enabled which is actually my favorite from even the first one so yes i think so that's good the camera what you get is the google camera go edition sorry i was not able to show you but google camera go edition is what you get pre-installed safety status also does not have any kind of issues if you want to root your device with magisk make sure to hide that and if you don't want to root safety status is already passing if you want to give it a try you can link to install this build is in the description these were things i just want to let you know about this latest update of android 12 based for redmi note 8 users this is all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share this video. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.